Well, I think there's two important aspects here, uh, and one of which is delivering vaccines. There is certainly a sense that, from a humanitarian point of view, from an economic point of view, this is the smart thing to do right now. Uh, and there is this now pledge to deliver huge numbers of vaccines, 80% of the population vaccinated by the end of 2022. Uh, and part of that is to get the, the global economy back up and running. But that goes hand in hand with hopefully some more spending. Um, the, the, the pandemic has, has really kind of set back efforts to speed up some of the poorest economies in the world. Uh, there is now a renewed effort potentially uh, to help that happen. But as part of that process, uh, there is an effort to spend more on the greening, the sustainability uh, aspects of the, uh, the global economy. So as these poor economies come back, uh, they have a more sustainable aspect to them. Uh, and the, the vaccine story goes hand in hand with that as well. Uh, it goes to the sustainability narrative that uh, many of these countries are basically saying, we can't help decarbonize our economies if you don't help us uh, with vaccinating our population. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.